the Doomsday Report. Now, on this week's episode, we have Son of War from Bradford. How's it going, guys? Yeah, 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 it's it's awesome. Had yeah. a great weekend so far. Yeah. Now, you guys played in Edinburgh last night, didn't you? Yes. How was that? It was mad. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. Yeah, well, what venue was it? Legends. Legends. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right, yeah. And have you ever played in Scotland before? How many times have you come up? If so. This is the second trip, second time. We yeah, played yeah, yeah, about, it was about two years ago. Yeah, yeah, Mar- yeah, yeah, March 19. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. we played so, then, uh, played Opium back then as well. And it was, it was another, that was a good night as well. So yeah. I don't know if it's that venue or if it's. So that, that would have been just pre like, lockdown. Yeah, yeah. just before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think one of the last gigs we did, wasn't it, actually, before lockdown? No, it was the year before. It was the year before. It was the year before, oh, yeah, 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 yeah beginning of 2019. And we did Air and Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Yeah, yeah. Edinburgh. And then we went down to Newcastle. We did. Oh. Yeah, we could week. I need out. Sorry, I think it would have arrived. Now, what's the scene like in Bradford? Because obviously, I've, I've never been down there myself. You know, so I don't know what it's like. So what's the, like, what, what are the venues like? What's the crowds like? compared to, well, Scotland? Since Covid, people aren't taking it for granted anymore and people are coming out a lot more. I mean, before that we had fairly big crowds anyway in Bradford for a lot of bands. But since Covid, it seems people, like I said, they're not taking it for granted and a lot more people are coming out. The scene itself, music-wise, is phenomenal. With so many good Bradford bands, like yeah. Iron Rat, Wolves in Winter, My Dime Ride, um, you know, they're all around that area. Valfar, Cycle Order, yeah. It's, it's insane the amount of talent around Bradford. We could probably do a festival of just Bradford bands. Yeah. <laughs> well, those bands are getting out as well, like Cyclone did a stint in Las Vegas earlier this year. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're playing on fire. Yeah. <laughs> so, do you have many uh, like actual festivals round about the Bradford area, like the smaller festivals? You know, put on by to, like indie promoters sort of thing? We, we did have a manifest which is based up in Keyfley. That has now since like grown massively. Yeah, yeah. it's moving to a, a venue in uh, Chestershire, I believe. Right, it's, it's Silverstone Restaurant. Yeah, yeah. it's now going to be an outdoor venue, and it goes over three days, where it previously was going to be one day. Yeah. Mm. So, and it's got huge bands like Lawnmower Death, Candlemas, Candlemas, yeah, it's Right Christ, Right Christ. It's the, the list so is massive. Some, like proper well-known names up there. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. We've been, done all this through lockdown as well. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We've been through lockdown. It's just concentrated on that and built it from one day to three days. It's, We've been very lucky as well to get from the one day, which was previously these big names as well, to increase yeah. even more big yeah. names onto the festival yeah. and still want us on to play and we're a bit like, are you sure? Yeah. Like yeah. these guys are like, you know, huge bands and yeah. we're a little band from Bradford, but yeah, this like Wayne's done massively amazing with that. So. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. And we've got other little festivals as like Idol Fest, that's yeah. run by uh, Cyclo and um, we're looking to put one on with him in London, do gigs down in Bradford, so we're looking to do one. Uh, there was Lizard Fest, but then you closed that, yeah, yeah. so. Yeah. But yeah. hopefully they'll come back this well. Oh, yeah, yeah definitely. I'm not sure we'll be back with someone, definitely. Yeah. Now, how productive were you during lockdown? Did you get much done in terms of writing, recording, <laughs> ideas for videos? We actually finished the Nibar recording, didn't we? Yeah. During lockdown. Luckily, we. <laughs> Sort of for us, we finished recording the album in sort of February, March last year. So um, lockdown came in, sort of just as we were finishing the recording. Yeah. So we didn't do a couple of sessions yeah, just you, absolutely. Like two, two tracks. Yeah. Um, so then after that, it was sort of shopping the album around, and, and we, we luckily managed to partner up with uh, Off Your Rocker Recordings um, to get it released in April this year. Um, but over that time, obviously eventually rehearsal studios opened up again and we could go yeah. back in and start writing and stuff. So we have been writing songs and things as well. We're te- uh, sort of road testing a new song in a set um, yesterday oh, and today. Yeah. And that's just to see how it goes and stuff in preparation for getting recorded and starting work on the next album kind of thing. But obviously at the moment, because we've been locked down and that, we're still promoting the album that we did. So you're going to promote the, the album that you've done first before releasing more songs. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah just because we missed out on touring on the album really. Yeah. Yeah. We recorded it and then lockdown happened and so it's we've done a few gigs now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly yeah. So now we're just literally just touring this album that we've had recorded for a year. And <laughs> how, how long are you planning on touring the album for? Until uh, people stop booking us. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 um, no, literally until uh, till we've got another Probably another set worth of new material. Yeah, we probably think it's sort of early next year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully early next year. Be like we, always, we always like to road run a few of them. You know, see how see how crowd likes it. See how, how, how it sort 
sort of um, Tesla Waters. Tesla Waters, yeah. 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 Uh, um, have you got any plans to play further afield than Scotland, like within Europe itself? And again, so. whatever happens or not. <laughs> <laughs> we're poor, we can't afford travel. Um, yeah, we're looking to do hopefully any Houston if we can. Um, yeah. We've looked at a few places, uh, it's just kind of because we have to all book time off work <laughs> as well. It's making it worthwhile yeah. going over there as well because obviously, like I say, we've got to take time off work so we're losing yeah. money. But then we're also spending money whilst we're over there. So yeah. it's, it's just making sure the talk and or a little run of gigs can pay for us doing it really. Well, we have talked about going to Ireland, and going to mainland Europe, and, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. and just it's just getting everything lined up first before we can commit to anything. Mm-hmm. Luckily, though, a lot of the gigs that we already have planned previously before lockdown have sort of rolled over a bit yeah. this year, so yeah. we've had a fairly busy calendar for this year anyway, haven't we? Yeah, so yeah. that kind of thing. We're already looking at next year for gigs, basically. So yeah. yeah. Now, what I want to talk to you about is Bloodstock. How was that for you? Because oh, oh, you played the <laughs> new blood stage, am I correct? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, was that through the metal to the masses process? Yeah, no, no, was that another way? Yes, yeah, we just emailed them and said, <laughs> "Can we play?" A few months later, we got a reply and just said, "Bloodstock" on the email subject, and we were like, "This is the rejection." And we opened it and we were like, "Oh." <laughs> <laughs> so all <laughs> the the nerds fight on the morning, you know. Well, you you played at lunchtime, didn't you? I think yeah, it was like. Uh, half twelve to one or something. Or it was, it was uh, quarter, around, yeah, just quarter, 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 yeah. quarter one. one, one, one well, the crowd was already warmed up. It was already people, yeah. you know, filling out the the tent that we were in, but also the other stage and stuff. It wasn't, you know, even though it was the last day and it was relatively early, the people weren't lethargic. You know, the people, you know, the stocks mm. metal, everyone were just up for it. Everybody was playing yeah. Yeah. yeah, in terms of nerves yeah. and stuff like that, um, <laughs> we didn't really have time for it, many nerves because yeah. we were like. So there was no butterflies uh, trying to. I know from I can, yeah, previous gig once. experience for myself, you know, every time before a gig, I find it natural to, you know, have them nerves. Yeah, yeah. Like, right, right before we went on, yeah, but like. For so most of the day, we would drive it down there, yeah. and get into because we could only go down on that day. We just over it. It was so. the lead up to the week up to it. Me and Luke both had COVID, so we didn't yeah. know if we could play it until right. Saturday. So the day before, uh, we did the flow tests, mm. and Bloodstock said, "Yeah, you can come down." So then we went down on the Sunday, Sunday but we went literally for like Saturday afternoon. I was like, "Yeah, we can play." So then we just had to travel down. On the day, so, on the like, day, so we didn't have time to. By the time we got there, packed up and got the skier there, and that, it was like right when you get off stage. So, mm-hmm. sort of like we were there, yeah. and we, we didn't have time to sit around and be like, oh, shit, we'll yeah. It was after we'd played, and we were like, this is Bloodstock, this is the main stuff. Like, we are backstage, like, that's the main stage over there, and we're behind it, yeah. what's going on? And like, but yeah, so but in terms of that, the, the nerves and stuff, we'd too busy just getting ready and getting yeah. onto the stage. So it's kind of over before you uh, yeah, yeah, really, yeah. Yeah. you know, anticipate what's going on sort of things like, right, we've done it, now we can enjoy yeah. it. Yeah, that were it, yeah. So it didn't, it didn't really party afterwards. It didn't really get yeah. real for me until about three songs in. I <laughs> looked up and there was like wall to wall, front to back crowd and I was like, yeah. Okay, now this is real. Okay, yeah, now yeah, the yeah. tent yeah. were really packed. And yeah, the considering way. we was, um, it was on the men's clashing with um, yeah, Diamond Head. Diamond Head. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, well, I really wanted to go see. <laughs> I was like, Diamond Head. Same time as Diamond Head. So they were on oh, the men's wow. stage, and we were all like, uh, if we get half a tent, we'll be, yeah, we'll be happy. Uh, that yeah. must have been like no concern. You was going up against like such heavy metal legends. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. People were choosing yeah. to come and see you over, yeah. like, let's just I say, granddaddies of heavy metal. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. I think it's one of the things about. Bloodstock is a bit, it's seen as a sort of underground uh, festival compared to say Downward, which is more mainstream and yeah. big bands and stuff. And the people there are there to support newer bands yeah. and yeah. especially like this year it was a lot of British bands because obviously with the COVID restrictions and stuff like that so people were, were up for it. Um, but from what I've seen <laughs> the new blood stage people do just stop in just to check yeah. it out and just yeah. like it. And people go to hear new music. Yeah, yeah. It's meant yeah. for underground, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. It's just one of those festivals. It's, it knows where it's come from. It's built from those bands. Yeah. I mean, obviously, it had the, the big hitters like Saxon and stuff from the early days that yeah. helped it yeah. cut, you know, start, but then it's got the underground that's kept it going because I think a lot of the scene, like in Bradford or in Scotland, probably, it's a lot of the underground that people go out yeah. and watch. Yeah. You know, they'll go to odd big gig or well, what have you, but majority of time it's festivals and underground. And that's where Metal to the Masses <coughs> comes in massively. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Stock, it? So, I mean, there's yeah. no other festival that does something like that. Yeah. Bands on there get huge pushes as well. Like, Greenland were a pretty, like, they were doing really well for themselves. 
before Bloodstock. Yeah. After Bloodstock, the gig must have come flooding in because the tour dates that they've got coming up now mm. ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they did a great I've, so not, I've not seen anyone who saw them on that day and said that, like, oh, they were alright. Everybody's yeah, seen them, were like, they were amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, really pushed the game out there. So. Now, what are the plans moving forward after tonight? So, yeah, we've got gigs booked up, sort of yeah. all the way through the end of the year, haven't we? The next got big ones. Sophie Fest, Sophie Sixth. Next actual one this Saturday, we're launching our beer. Oh, yeah, 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 beer yeah. made by Dark Plum Brewery. So nice one. Our one Saturday, so, so we're kicking that. What was the beer called? Uh, Tungless Ale. Yeah, Tungless Ale. Ale. Tungless Ale. Ale. It's yeah. a play on one of the songs. It's a Tungless Ale. It's a Tungless Ale. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a hemp, hemp beer. Hemp infused beer. And why have you not brought that up here? It's not, it's not ready. It's not, ready. Yeah, it's not, it's not out yet. We're, we're, Why not? We'll bring it up next time. Just Everything yeah. hemp and natural is good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that so Saturday we're doing the gig. Uh, now, friends. what videos have you got? You know, um, I know you've got a lyric video out, haven't you? Well, we've got the Cities of the Dead Ice Priestess, which was done through lockdown, and we basically messaged as many bands as we could and said well, we, we know you can't gig just send us footage of you in your rehearsal room to show people what you're doing so we've got a bunch we've got like Cities of Mars from Sweden and that High Priestess from America um, got Old Horn 2 from down London uh, Chapel the, Floods yeah Chapel Floods got a bunch of bands in there and just they all bands that we've gigged with and yeah. got, got that relationship with yeah. it's just helping each other out and coming together and showing yeah. everyone else that this is what, you know, we're still going, don't forget about it. Yeah, because yeah. that song's about touring. In fact, that was written about touring up here, our first weekend, that song was about right. it. Part of it is about that weekend with a band called Dead Eyes, that Adam's wearing that hat. Yeah. Um, we played with them in air, we did a few dates for them and we just stayed friends. And yeah. um, obviously, Cities of the Dead Eye Priestess, so it's like Cities of Mars, High Priestess and Dead Eyes, because we toured with them all around the same time. Mm. So it's just about being out and touring and about the music friends. scene. So Yeah, awesome, awesome. Now, if you could play with anybody, you know, dead or alive, you know, one, 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 one act, you know, Orange one, Goblin, one, one member or one band, anybody, who would it yeah. be? Orange Goblin. Oh, Orange Goblin for you, about yourselves? I'd say The Sword, especially because they're doing that kind of stuff, I'd love to do a gig with The Sword, it'd be more elegant. I feel like we've got the same answer. Go <laughs> Three, two, one. Pantera. Oh, my first one. I'm not around anymore, so I like that. Exactly. Yeah, Pantera would be managed. A band it. that's not going anymore other than Black Sabbath easily. A band that's still yeah, going that I would love to play with is Blood Classic and the Dead Beats. Those guys have been certainly good. I'd love to play with those. So. Right. Now, do you have any particular tracks that you know, like to play, whether that be covers or one of your own ones? Satanic Panic's been a big, a really nice dance. Yeah. We're opening with it in a minute. Uh, it's a song that we've got. Uh, have we got a video of that? Yeah. No, 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 we're, no. Yeah. we're looking to do something for that. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, it's just, it was kind of the one of the last songs that we wrote for the album, and we were like, this song is moving on a bit from where the other songs were. Uh, not to be like dickheady musician about it, like, yeah, we've achieved a new level of songwriting. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was just sort of like, alright, this is cool, let's do it. A bit of but also, like, it, it's a good example of our style, and like, it mixes the different stuff that we do, like the groovy bits and the heavy bits and the groovy yeah, bits and the, the really miserable groovy, stuff and the yeah. aggressive stuff. So, that's a good one for me, I like to play that. Yeah, I'm going to say the same. It's a good one. Love opening with it. Uh, people seem to like it. Yeah. We love recording it. Because we could go lots of different ideas for it and stuff, so yeah, I'd say what was it. Right, now what do you like to do away from music? Because I know you know, we've been in a band, your, your life is obviously pretty much directed around music. <laughs> yeah. You know, so yeah. what do you like to do to get away from that? Well, we all like to um, argue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 It's 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 each other's names, yeah. hate each other. Uh, Any obscure hobbies? Uh, I mean, three out of five of us are big D&D nerds, and we play D&D yeah. quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Smoking weed a hobby? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that's more of a way of life, my friend. Yeah. 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 I'm a big whiskey drinker. Um, yeah. I like it. Like, beginning of lockdown, I got into, like, I used to like whiskey, but then beginning of lockdown, so I was bored, I got into the whole, like, oh, oh I can smell apples and stuff like that, so I, I got into that, like, pretty hard. It cost me a lot of money. I, my old man's like that, only... He's a bit of a Jake Paul work. <laughs> <laughs> now, have you got much 
at all um, for yeah. sale. We do. Yeah. We've literally just set a stall up for tonight, so yeah, so it's all ready. T-shirts to go. and yeah, we've yeah. got two types of t-shirts. We've got beanie hats. We've got one uh, trucker cap left. Uh, we've got some koozies. Yeah, some patches. Yeah, it's all the band camp as well. Yeah, so, uh, obviously the album. Yeah. The new album. yeah. Uh, all of that is available on Bonsai. See, uh, th this would have been the point where I said to you upstairs, would you like to bring your merch and bring it downstairs so you can show it on camera, but me being a dumbass, I totally forgot. Uh, so just I just head over to Bandcamp and you can yeah. see it all, and buy it. Yeah. <laughs> they accept PayPal credit. Yeah. <laughs> but if, you, ask, if you put a little request in the notes as well, Gazel, Gazel signed something or it'll blow a kiss on it. Uh, <laughs> send you a nude. <laughs> 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 you might send a nude if you want it. Uh, if you don't buy something, I will send you. Yeah, oh, so news. It's a bit artsy, black and white. Uh, just the chef. <laughs> now, if you could give a shout out to anyone watching this to convince them to come and listen to you, see you live, buy your merch, what would you say to them? I'm putting you on the spot. Do you like riffs? Do you like beer? We've got riffs and we like to drink beer. Come and watch us, it'll be ace. Um, we're heavy, we're groovy, we like to have a good time. We don't take ourselves too seriously, and neither should you. Yeah, come down and check us out. And if you ever want to come have a chat with us after we play, come say hi. Yeah. Okay, yeah. We, we all stink though. Yeah, yeah we, we, we sweat a lot. <laughs> yeah. Well, in all fairness, it's heavy metal, you know. Yeah, yeah, we're, yeah. we're all a bunch of smelly bastards <laughs> at the end of the day, aren't we? Dirty moshes. Dirty moshes. <laughs> no, I, think I agree. I just add on, please give us your money. We are poor. Yeah, I need to buy more weed. Yeah. <laughs> it's, my <laughs> it's my inspiration. Oh, yeah, well, you, you've had it all here. I mean, thank you for taking the time out to come and speak with yeah. us. Yes. And, well, what can I say? I've oh. been Esteban, this has been Son of Bull, and this has been the Doomsday Report. Keep it metal! It's all so good. Yeah.
Yeah!